All right. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, I'm just going to start talking here and we'll just see where this goes. So I want to talk about Rust. Um, Rust, as you all know, has been a big part of my YouTube channel. Uh, it changed my life. You know, if it wasn't for Rust, I wouldn't be where I am now. It's a big part of me and uh, what I've done, my identity. And it, it will always be that. And um, the biggest question I always get asked, and this has been the case for years now, is when's the next Rust video? Are you coming back to Rust? Are you done with Rust? And my, my answer to that question has always been the same. It's always been, of course. Of course I'm coming back to Rust. Of course I'll always do a video about Rust. I love Rust. That's always been my reply. Um, but I sit here now, um, and I think it's the first time ever I can honestly say, and I hate saying it, I've fallen out of love with Rust. Now, does this mean I'll never play it again? No. Does it mean I'll never do a video again? Of course not. Um, I'll always dip my toe into Rust and see what's going on and uh, play it. But something about it has just changed for me. And I just want to just sort of talk about it and just tell you how I feel. So we'll just start from the beginning. Uh, back when I started Rust, uh, Rust was very, very basic, very raw. Um, it was a massive sandbox of, and a bunch of people playing in that sandbox who had no idea what to do. Even the big groups, like the big clans, if you watch my early Rust raid cam videos, even they had no idea what they were doing. Their bases were literally big shoe boxes, no honeycomb, just big bases because... They had big numbers, so they needed a big base. So they, so they just built a big old square with some doors in it. <laughs> Very basic stuff. Um, bare bones minimum. Uh, the goal was, you know, just to survive. And um, people did it and did it very poorly like myself. But it was always a good time to to learn from my mistakes and, and, and progress in the game in terms of knowledge and, and, and all that. And I think that's where my love of uh, the game came from that the unpredictability i could always you know boot up a stream or or hit record and load onto a server and who knows what was going to happen it was unpredictable and as the game progressed of course it evolves and uh, things were added things like the quarry for example um i never really got to i got to experience it a little bit but again uh it it catered more towards the bigger group the more organized group and really um, encouraged, you know, a group effort to make something like that work. Um, then you had, you know, world events um, that would occur. And again, this would uh, encourage group mentality and the more organized groups would dominate those and they would get access to the higher tier weapons, which they also added, brand new weapons, better weapons, uh, more powerful weapons. Um, and then they added a, you know, a spray pattern to the guns, so um, the only real way that you could really hit anything with a, an AK is if you uh, had an AK enough to learn it, or if you put in, you know, hours of time to go practice. Um, again, encouraging more of a competitive, organized kind of attitude, which is totally fine, and I'm not shitting on people that enjoy that way of gaming, and I'm not shitting on the developers for going in that direction because this was the the direction the game was naturally headed anyway. Um, but it outgrew people like me. It outgrew people that were average, that were just kind of clawing their way into survival. All of a sudden, they're getting buried with so much things. Like There's so much content that they cannot obtain unless they change their complete mindset of how they play the game that... It, you came to a crossroad. Basically, do I join a group or a clan and you know take the game more seriously and put a lot of hours into it, or do I just drop away because you know fifty percent of the game I can't even obtain anymore? Um, and that's kind of where the crossroads were with me. But at the same time, it wasn't too bad a few years ago because people were still learning. Even the bigger groups were kind of. Still learning the mechanics, still learning the meta in terms of base building designs. 
Uh, the spray pattern was controversial. People liked it or hated it, and you know, not everyone was good at it. Um, but as time progressed, you know, the game became more and more competitive, and people took the game more and more seriously. And uh, you know, all of a sudden, people are doing research about certain honeycomb designs in order to survive a select amount of rockets and <sighs> that's not how I game and that's not how a lot of people game now are we the majority hell no the game is more popular than ever anyone that says that Rusty's dying has no idea what they're talking about that's a dumb thing to say because it's killing it it's it's booming and I'm happy about that because I think the developers of Rust, the people that work on Rust, are some of the best people, most down-to-earth people in the gaming industry. They personally treated me really, really well and helped my channel grow. And I have nothing negative to say about them at all. But the game itself has just reached a point where people like me um, no longer really fit. And the days of those community events like the Noob Compound pretty much are over. I don't think the noob compound could work today. Um, I think the game's too competitive for something like that. If I ever tried to do that, we'd get a destroyed before we even got the walls up, I'm sure. Um, but I'm not a competitive gamer. And that's what the game is. I don't see Rust as a survival game. I don't think it's been a survival game for a long time. When I log onto the server, I don't feel like there's a sense of, of survival. I think it's a sense of it's just a matter of time until I get raided. It's just a matter of time before I come across someone that just domes me, that has 3,000 hours in the game, that can headshot me from across the goddamn planet. Uh, it's a sense of inevitability, not so much unpredictability, whereas that's what I had before when I played Rust. Um, now, I'm sure if I was good at the game... <laughs> And I'm sure there's going to be a lot of arguments uh, in my comment section about this. Oh, you only are complaining because you're not good at the game. I mean, yeah, sure. I mean, that's a part of it, but it's not the whole part of it. You can watch my old videos, and I was getting destroyed on the daily. But I still loved it, and I still logged in. And even though I was getting completely fucking destroyed on a daily basis, and every week I was getting, you know, my base taken from me, I felt like I was clawing my way to survival and trying my best to survive in a world where I had a chance. And I don't get that sense of chance anymore. And I'm not the only one. And again, I'm not the majority. I'm the minority. I'm only making this video because people ask me. And this is my personal take. This is not, you know, the definitive review of Rust and Rust sucks. That's not what I'm saying. Because Rust, I think, is in a really good spot. It's better now than it's ever been in terms of mechanics and content. It's full of content, way more than it has ever had. But it's content that I'm never going to experience. Not unless I get an organized group to carry me, I'm not going to experience the train. I mean, I've experienced the all rig once, and that was on an RP server, you know? And we barely made it off then. We barely did it, you know? So, you know... This is just me venting. I wouldn't even say venting. I'm just telling people because I get asked it a lot. When's Rust coming back? And I just, I get asked it a lot. You know, when's the, when are you going to do another noob compound? I'd love to do another noob compound. I'd love it. However, the way that the noob compound worked was me joining a public server, the most popular server, putting up walls and just inviting all the solos and duos to, you know, try to survive. It was basically a shelter. It was basically a homeless shelter in Rust. And um, we would get completely wiped out first day before we even got the walls up nowadays because, as I said, the game is so damn competitive. Everyone takes it very, very seriously. And it's consumed people. There's people in there that this is their life. They wake up. They jump in rust. They're there for hours. I know stories of clans kicking people out of the clan because they don't dedicate enough hours into the game. That's crazy. That's not what I fell in love with. It's not a survival game. It hasn't been for a long time. It's a competitive first-person shooter that has loot and base building. You can literally log in day one of the wipe and after an hour, people are running around with, you know, automatic weapons. And that's not survival. You're not struggling to survive. 
You, you, it's just a race to get the best loot. And they have the best loot within the first day. There's nothing that the developers can do at this point. They, they can't change that. I mean, they tried to kind of change it a little bit um, by slowing progression down, but people went crazy, so they reverted back. There's, you know, and there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, as I said, the game's more popular than ever. And, you know, there's no shame in us, you know, the average player that can't put in hours and hours and hours and hours into one game. There's no shame in us saying, you know what? <sighs> it's outgrown us. No, it's outgrown us. What are you going to do? I mean, there's other games out there. I'll always go back to Rust, but it's never going to be the same again. Those those community kind of, that community vibe of running into the same guy that raided me last wipe and me having a back and forth with them and getting revenge on them. I mean, those encounters are so far and few between now. I mean, the majority of content on, on YouTube now is showcasing PvP because that's, you know, the core of the game now. Of course, I'm not saying that there isn't communication and there isn't, you know, those story elements and moments. I know there's YouTubers out there that do that. I know that. But it's not as frequent as it was before. And, um, yeah, that's that's what I loved about the game. So I guess I'll leave it at that. I've ranted on long enough. Uh, if you can relate to this, please let me know down below your experience with the game. I'd love to hear it, uh, how the game's changed and whether you think it's for you or if it's not for you. Um, and I don't want it to be a heated sort of toxic debate. I, that's not my intention with this. Um, so I don't hate the game. I just hate that I can't get enjoyment out of it anymore. And it frustrates me. Because I know that it, it's there. It's just not obtainable for me. And it doesn't matter how hard I try, I'll never reach um, that quality of, of, of dedication, skill, and competitiveness to really squeeze every bit of content and enjoyment out of rust anymore so i'll leave it at that thank you for watching hopefully you know if you're still here thank you so much for that um i'd be surprised if you're still here but if you are please let me know down below what you think and um yeah love yous love yous all and um till next time may the force be with you always